why'd you wait so long? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or like, like we knew. Well, it's also when someone comes out. Knew, it's yeah. like when Ricky Martin came out and we were all like, what? Yeah, yeah. No one knew. Yeah. <laughs> How are you the last to know about that? Yeah, it's also like um, at this point, it's not even a thing. Like, it's not a huge. Like, we're so yeah. past gay now. We're yeah. On, like, we're past trans even. We're it's in like a, another. Remember three weeks ago when we cared about transgender yeah people in libraries <laughs> remember that it's like should these drag queens be reading in the library and now everybody's it's dead like, remember libraries <laughs> yeah now everyone's dead yeah it's well but we'll, that stuff will come back you know like that stuff will come back libraries like, well no drag queens <laughs> the, the 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 petty stuff comes back like i love like every, after every tragedy everybody <laughs> you know they have the same thing they go you know what this is really going to make us think about, like, you know, what's really important. That's what it's about. And then two weeks after it, you're like, I ordered the Postmates an hour ago. <laughs> so it's just the same thing. Like, I, I had this joke, which never worked, but it was right after the uh, the mass shooting in Vegas. And everyone was like, the most American people were the people that, you know, risked danger to help others. And I was like, no, the most American people were the people that right after that shooting walk down to the front desk to complain about the noise. <laughs> you know, go, it was a little loud last night, you know, maybe a, a coupon for lunch. You know, we've been coming here a long time. And quite frankly, a lot of sirens, you know, I was like, that's the most American. So we will go back to Petty. We have to. Today's storyteller is a return guest. First time on video. Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Dillon's on. The oh, studio. thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. you for coming back. Look who's at your mom's house, guys. Yeah, I did it. I made it. I made it to the Mecca. <laughs> Officially in the and, studio, and it's, guys. It's, uh, you know, how can you enjoy me without video? You know? <laughs> That's a translucent Irish skin blister up in real time in front of you. How could you possibly? <laughs> but you need, you hear my voice, and then you hear the tragedy of what I'll say. And then I think the physical just brings it all together to where people go, <laughs> Rounds oh, out. yeah. Because that's what the show is, right? You want to you wanna hear sad things from sad people <laughs> that make it funny. I mean, that's what the show is. It's an exercise in masochism. It is. And you bring people on and they talk about their horrible lives. And, you know, and some of the people you have on are successful. And some of the people you have on are like me that are just clawing. We're still clawing, you know? Clawing. Brother. And it's, not, it's nice to watch people look at a lot of your guests and go, Will they be people that I know in five years, or will they be dead in the street? <laughs> oh, we should and play that's that what game. I like God, about, man. that's what this show really is. People are going, hey, I wonder if that guy will be a household name, or will they find him dead in a hotel room in Tampa? We don't know. Who Tampa. knows? It is, Who knows? It's definitely it's Florida. It's just what the show is. And that's what the show is. The best version of the show is let's bring these people on. We don't know if they're going to be successful. Statistically, it's a real uphill battle. And, you know. Do you ever think that there, do you ever meet women that are close on a, like there's almost like a, because sometimes I almost wonder if at a certain point that gay and straight will almost be primitive descriptions yeah, of people. might be, might be, yeah. Maybe. Like I know some of, there's a lot of force stuff and like, yeah. you know, and, and people like in this place now where they don't know or they, right. you know. And people are just. I think sex will be primitive. I think people are on so many SSRIs they can't even come, and I mean, it can't get dicks hard. I mean, just It'd be crazy. Almost. You look at a lot of these relationships. You like, there's no sex happening. These people just hold each other's oh, yeah. hands. They softly cry. They tweet about racism. Yeah. Uh, they adopt a dog together. Uh, but you, you realize That's how a lot sexual a lot of these relationships are. You're like, a lot of this is probably just people that have massive anxiety laying next to each other, having <laughs> yeah, totally, multiple panic yeah. attacks, and then someone's strong enough to go make a cup of like non-caffeinated tea. But if you ever yeah. come during a f tough yeah. panic attack, bro, it's almost good. Is that the move? Yeah. Okay, is that the move? I think if kids are doing it when they're little, that's, a, that's that might hard. be an issue because they don't know yet right. Yeah, if you're a certain are. age. But that's, I think if you're a parent and you and you're going to allow your eight year old to get a sex change, problem. you have to get it too. That's a that's problem. That's just what I would yeah, say. You yeah, also have to I get agree. it. Then. Yeah, I mean. And by the way, you all three. And by the way, it. they will. Don't 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 make that the standard because they will. They'll get it because that's how psychotic. Yeah, they are. because they'll I be mean, the most popular mom and daughter I team support, in Portland. Yeah, I want to support everything my little daughter is going to do, but I have to admit that will 
be a little complicated and challenging a little bit if she, if she starts saying, stop calling me Gianna. From now on, I'm g Dog. Yeah. yeah. I'm, Call I'm, me G. I'm Gianna. It, 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 they always start with an acronym. It's like when they switch. That, are you going to name her? What are you going to name her? I'm going to name her G, uh, Gianna. Her Gianna. name's Gianna. Yeah. Very her name pretty. is Gianna. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I hope she uh, becomes g Dog. I, uh, yeah. I hope she starts... That'd be great. Imagine she's like, that she's, the new, she's on the podcast. Dog. She's going to have a great life. I'm, I'm going to invite you guys up to the yeah. compound, right? You're gonna, she's going to sit on Uncle Timmy's lap. Uncle yeah. Timmy's about going to tell her about the ways of mortgaging in the world. Yeah. Dude, the first time you ever met my daughter, you yeah. had to sell her a pool. Yeah. I swear to God. Yeah. He was like, I got a beautiful in-ground well, pool. I told her, I see, your father's making a little coin, but let's be honest, you got to start getting proactive with him. Uh, <laughs> and let's start, <laughs> let's start, you know, if you want to call me to few his bank account numbers, let's do some experiments and we'll make him happy. Yeah, yeah my daughter's sitting just there with, make him money. My yeah. daughter's sitting there with Elsie and Anna dolls like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. By the way, it was either that or talk to... Uh, uh, who who is at that Fucking party? Chris Farley's brother. Yeah, I was like, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I like Kevin Farley. Very no, sweet. I like, I like Kevin Farley. We love you, Kevin. Kevin. Yes, yeah, he's not yeah. watching this. Kevin. Yeah, I hope not. He no. might be. Yeah, oh, really? there's so many rats there now. Everyone's always I, like, what's he doing instead of movie? Yeah. The point. <laughs> wow, that looks like the 3500 cubic I, foot I, model. I can't wait till the first air conditioner I send. I'm deplatformed like right <laughs> afterwards. And I call Mike. I go, dude, what wow. happened? <laughs> I just sent an air conditioner. It was like a dual meaning. <laughs> you know who got Halsey pregnant? I don't. Me either. Who I, is it? Are you saying it's? Are you saying it's me? It's up in the air. <laughs> we've, <laughs> we've fucked. <laughs> A lot, a lot, because I like her, the whiny nature of her, whatever she does. And, uh, but I'm dating Billie Eilish. Oh, she's how's that, legal. How's that legal. going? Is she legal now? She's legal, yeah. Uh, how is it? It's very sad. <laughs> she's very moody, a little uh -huh. emo for my taste. Uh -huh. It's a little sad and a little vegan for my liking. Where'd you meet? Uh, I, uh, where did we meet? I, I was, I don't know, some seance. I don't know what she does. Um, <laughs> have you seen the documentary about her? The documentary about her is like a horror movie where it's like, it's like, dun, 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 and she's clearly very talented, but like the doc that's coming out about her now, it's like this horrific horror. Why? That I don't know. I'm like, everything's okay. <laughs> You're doing well. Yeah. It's like that Dixie D'Amelio girl has that song. Sometimes I don't want to be happy. It's like, no, you're going to be happy. <laughs> And you're going to be fucking happy now. 800,000 people a week are filing for unemployment. You're singing in a mansion. You're going to be happy or we're going to throw you in a volcano. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that we've, I don't care. I, well, money doesn't make you happy. Shut up. Like, you can't release a song during a pandemic and an economic collapse and go, sometimes I don't want to be happy. It's like, you got to. Well, you got to be happy. Bieber, it's relatable. Bieber dropped lonely. Because you have you guys and then you have people, you have like the people that eat cereal. You have the mukbang people. You have the people that open presents. I mean, I think there is a prop. Like, it is a prop. Like, I look at what's on YouTube and I'm like, this is not good. Like, I see somebody opening a present and there's 30 million people that are like, I wish I had a present. I'm like, how bad is it out there? I watched a new documentary on influencers. Uh, it was on Hulu. It was called Jawline. And all these girls, you know, the MagCon guys, like yeah. all the girls that were going to see them. I thought these girls just thought they were hot. But a lot of these girls, it was so sad. They're like, my mother works three jobs. I don't have a father. These are the only people that tell me not to kill myself. And I'm like, oh my, I was like so sad. I'm like, <laughs> I had no idea how bad it was out there. I thought you just wanted to, you thought they were cute. No, Taylor Kniffer is these girls' role model. I thought they, they thought he was cute. They're like, they're the only people that say, don't cut yourself, go to school. I'm like, what is going on? So I don't know, man. It's a, I think it's, it's there's a lot of trouble. We're in trouble as a country. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, I we're in so. some trouble. Is it just the country or is it the world? No, it's everything. It's the whole planet, you know? But I mean, I get a view of this country. But yeah, the YouTube thing, uh, there's like girls that are 800 pounds. Me and Ben the other day, my producer just watched a, a very large woman eat a whole chicken. Bo and <laughs> bones and all? I don't know what Live? she did with the bones. Great question. How many views? Hundreds of thousands. She's just a very large woman eating a whole chicken. I would just try to understand like, what is What's it? going on? What's wrong with us? Something's wrong, dude. Are we fucked? I don't know, but it, 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 it ain't great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you go on YouTube, it's not great. A part of that or ever will be, or, and that's, I need not even say that, but I, I just, it's not an area that I'm not going to be kept up at night by Bay Ridge, but I'm not kept up at night by where I grew up. Right. Where right. do you want to, where, what keeps you up at night? Sagaponic. Sag yeah. 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 Fifth Avenue. Park Avenue. Yeah. 
Yeah, Beverly Hills, up. is that the Bronx compared to the Mountain? No, I mean, Beverly Hills, yeah. I mean, in, in, in terms of taste, yes. But there's some real money over there. Yeah. yeah. There's some real money over there. Uh, you know, Pollock's Path in Hong Kong. Yeah. Keeps me up. One Hyde Park in London. Yeah. Those just, it's interesting. Okay. I just like to know. You know, I said to Ben, my, my producer, we were eating. Who's on the hot seat? Yeah, he's on the hot seat. Better, he better figure it out. Yeah, because um, pimp, homeless pimp's coming. Pimp's coming. I'm going to take pimp, and I'm not going to pay you, but you're going to meet Whitney Cummings. So the whole thing is you're going to inject the Botox into Whitney Cummings' ass. Here's the whole thing, and it's better than money. So the re- <laughs> we're going we're gonna to release this. So we gotta- I don't care. Yeah. She doesn't care. She's a comic. <laughs> okay, she's the only comic in L.A. right now, not in jail. R.I.P. Here's the point. This is what I'm saying. Uh, what I'm saying is that he needs to, uh, yeah, I have that wheelchair plug, but I think it's closer to Sarasota. I'll get to hit him back up about it. I was supposed to plug him up with that Dub C over there in Tampa. But. Yeah, dude. Just, your, your opener needs a wheelchair? No, he did. He wanted to go out to, he he does, wanted to the bars Jim, don't be ashamed after of it. surgery. He wanted people to wheel him around the bars, and then he got COVID because <laughs> he's an idiot going out to bars idiot. or whatever. And I get it, but it's three, three weeks. He's still kind of tired and listless and shit. You know, but hey, man, that's what you get. That's what you get for not taking quercetin, which cures coronavirus. According to Joe Rogan, I called the doctor right after that, and the doctor said, there is no evidence of that. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he goes, that is very damaging information to spread. <laughs> so he goes, I hope you're not telling that to a lot of people. I'm like, the guy who told me that is telling to tops 10 million people. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Uh, all right. All right. One more Culture Corner submission. God. I love that guy, dude. Hajime Mashite. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's Japanese. What See up, King of the Sting? It's your boy Daniel. And I just want to say what's up to Theo, Brendan, Chappelle, Kat, Nick, Chin, the dude that sits in the other studio but never looks up at the camera like it's the hot chick from junior high school that I never even had the balls to smile at. It's on a call. Was I? Oh, yeah, the culture yeah. corner. Well, my dad was born in Mexico, my grandma barely spoke English. <laughs> I barely speak Spanish, but somehow we make it work. If that's not the definition of culture, I don't know what is. I can already see myself in the culture corner. If you guys choose me to sit on the same couch that has grazed more butt cheeks than George Bush Sr., I'd be delighted. All I got to say is gang gang, vatos locos forever. Oh, about the slow cause he's people. good with editing. <clears throat> yeah, that guy was great. PL. Yeah, he's really good with Shout the, out to that with Dustin Poirier episode. He's really good, but it's boring. Right <laughs> <laughs> it's very boring. Like, I wanted to like him. It's mind numbingly boring, and I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't wait for it to end. So, if he, if he went to a Hollywood meeting, they'd go like this they'd go, Hey, thanks for coming in. <laughs> Let us know what you're working on, you know, and get the fuck out because that was boring and a waste of everybody's goddamn time. Yeah. Bring back that meth head fucking Tonto or whatever because uh, this guy sucks.